so Fang, tell us a bit about uh, what led you to, to volunteer uh, to do your Tai Chi session every week. What, what brought you to do that? Well, first, uh, I a heart-based community engagement. So for me, um, it is close to my heart. And I think it's really important. I mean, during the COVID-19, I think it's more needed than ever that, you know, people from the community can help and support each other and to be kind. And there's something that I can do using the Tai Chi experience and skill I have um, to help others. Just give them a moment, a moment they can feel relaxed, a moment they can connect their mind and body. And I think for me, that's really rewarding. So supporting your mission and vision at the same time, I think it's really rewarding for me to just to be able to connect with others through this um, yeah, heart-based community. And how did you get into Tai Chi? Uh, I, I was dragged, actually. Um, in, when I was little, um, my parents both, <laughs> uh, growing in China, my, my parents both um, did morning exercise. Like most of Chinese families, in the morning, we all go outside and, you know, practice, you know, some exercise uh, in the open area, like a park, or we lucky, we live uh, on a military base. We have a beautiful mountain just behind the military base. So uh, we could simply just pass, you know, walking five minutes to go to the mountain and close to nature, the trees. So my parents went out for morning exercise and couldn't leave me behind. So I was dragged when I was four or five years old. Yeah. And that's how I started. And then after that, I actually developed interest. And I really enjoy it. So it became a passion of yours, um, Fane? It's, um, it wasn't when I first started. Um, it wasn't like falling in love at first sight, <laughs> but um, it was developing over time. So I found it was really it was a very interesting journey for me to discover, you know, the Tai Chi, the Chi power, um, as well as learning along the way to discover myself. Things uh, can be challenging at times. For example, if let's say, you know, I want to do something um, very well, a movement very well, and I know what my teacher expects me to do, but I just couldn't get there. And then, you know, really challenged my patience uh, however I think I have trained myself long enough to accept few things along the way and some things I do really well and some things I always think there's a space to improve and I think this is really good to just take that attitude to explore things and to get to know myself better and uh, there's it's always a always a space to learn yeah right. what do you have to bring to others uh, in your sessions then I think? um you mean the tai chi part yes yes tai chi is really amazing wonderful mind body exercise it really suits everyone I think that's the amazing thing. It's not like, you know, you have to be someone to learn Tai Chi. It's, it's for everyone. It really, um, it almost like water. If you think about water, um, water just go to the space. You know, when other things doesn't really go to the space. And water is really humble. It goes to space even other don't want to go. Other things don't want to go. It's like Tai Chi. So it's like, you know, you you just have that being present, just being present. And sometimes the physical movement may not get to where you you ideally want to be. Uh, with you know everybody's different physical uh, restriction limitation, or simply the flexibility hasn't been developed yet. But the mindfulness, you know the the mental visualization is, mm. is really uh, endless, it's, it's unlimited. 
So for me, it's, it's that mind that directs the moment. It really empowers people to, to get to wherever they want to be. And they're still comfortable. Along the way, there will be challenges. Depends on how everybody review Tai Chi. But I think it's, it's the space that, you know, make it interesting. So you can do whatever you feel comfortable for yourself. You can challenge yourself less, little, or more, if you like. So I think Tai Chi is a, it's a humble way to look at yourself and the nature. Well, you, um, in your sessions, you bring that so beautifully, you know, that um, the expression and the way you, you bring uh, the Tai Chi and that... Um, you invite people in to feel the movement and and the way you direct it is amazing. So it takes people to this to this place. So um, and it's lovely then that people just pop in and like you said, sometimes it doesn't matter if they've done it before or not. They they feel that beautiful feeling by the end and it and it's um, and it's, that moment has happened for them. So uh, it's wonderful how you bring that. Thank you, Tricia. Yeah. But also, I think I really, um, you know, it's not just from me to you, for example, or, or the people in the class. It's actually really, I can feel the energy from you, from others as well. Because when I see you flowing, and you bring the energy to the, to the chi field, if, if you agree with me on the, on the chi term, or the energy term, because I can feel that you are connecting with me. You know, we all are connected. Mm. Like in your in your at your website, say, we're all in this together. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're right, uh, Fang. It, it, you know, there is there is that sort of universal connection that we all have, and certainly in your sessions, uh, I, I I think we all, like, we all feel that um, because yeah. of the graceful movement that you show us and the breathing that you show us in in that in that session. No, it's wonderful. So, I mean, look, we met a long time ago, and I, I think it was what three or four years ago before. Yeah, this possible. Yeah, yeah, yes. I think so. And we, we sort of knew at that point that we were going to connect at some point, and and it's come together now, and it's just been so wonderful because you were looking for this beautiful way of sharing, and um, have been stepping into some more volunteering, and then. We uh, we connected, and there there is this opportunity, and it, and it's just come together beautifully. So um, we really truly want to thank you for what you bring because it, yeah, it, it, it's just wonderful. And like I said, for anyone popping in, you know how to bring them into the experience, no matter how much they've experienced they've had with um, the breathing or the tai chi, and feel really safe and and really reach somewhere by the end of the session. So thank you very much. You're welcome, Tricia. Thank you for initiating all these wonderful community-based projects. And I think that gave me the opportunity to be part of it. So thank you and Nigel for um, having me as a part of this wonderful team and this project. Hopefully you can reach more people, you know, let more people feel connected with each other. And I think you just mentioned about, you know, the, the people get more relaxed and comfortable at the end of the class. I tell you, last night there was uh, the the dog was comfortable, but I relaxed too. I do not mention it, but I think it was so quiet. So I thought that was not too bad. It was.